attack. I believe history has been a massive game of tag. You know the game we play with all our friends, running around, making them it because you don't want to be it. I believe history has been a massive game of tag, a godforsaken mark shoved upon any group of people best seen fit. And once you're tag, you're different, and no one wants to be different because when you're it, you're either too dark or too weak or abnormal, too ugly, you get the gist. When I was born, I was forced into this never-ending game of tag. I was it. I thought this was a fun game. I thought that being different was the aim. I thought that having chocolate skin and the ability to create life meant that I was winning the game. I was seven years old seven years ago when I realized I was it. A boy who often bullied me sat beside me in math class. The teacher handed out worksheets, yet he grabbed mine away rather fast. Looking at me, I was like a see-through glass. He could tell I was confused. He smirked at me, seeming rather amused. I reached for my paper, he pushed it even further. Girls can't do math, he taunted. I can't remember what I said or did next, but I was left haunted. Haunted with the knowledge that I was it. I believe it is the perfect pronoun to place in this position because I am seen as an object. It's such a girl's candy math that ends in, hey, why are you walking so fast and just trying to talk to you? Talk to me or talk at me. Talk about me. Boast to your friends about what you bagged, about how this one's much better than the ones you previously had. If you wanted to talk to me, your opening line wouldn't have been the sound of your neck breaking as I walk past. Being it means I have to look perfect and pretty, pardoning all the pain periods in patriarchy, enveloping my every stride. Being it means I am nothing if not for my looks, nothing if not for how much I weigh, nothing if a guy doesn't give me a second glance, nothing if I dare speak up. Being it means I am nothing. I was 13 years old when I realized how unfair this game was. I had been tagged twice. How was that fair? I just learned how to keep my head down. I just learned that boys will be boys. Just learned how to be pretty, but not too pretty. Smart, but not too smart. I would learned all the rules. I just moved to a new city and made new friends. Friends that were different from me, you see. Friends that would tell me how nappy my hair was. Friends that would say, in the summer, I'm almost as dark as you. These microaggressions built the aggression I felt. The aggression I felt towards the fact that I hated this game. Hated the fact that I was it. You see, being it means I am not judged based on what I am deep within, but by the color of my skin. Yet they know I can't change the color of my skin or the body that I'm in. I say all this in fear that I'll come across as the angry black woman. I wish I could be just the angry black woman. Instead, I am the foolish black woman, the misunderstood black woman, the overly sexualized black woman, the irrational black woman, placed in a system that pulls the air out of my lungs while shouting, you're being dramatic, just breathe. Who gets to decide it? Who gets to put the sign on our heads with the words different, written with the blood of those who couldn't play and just quit? Who's going to unravel this whole story that they've knit? Because to whoever is keeping score, I'm waving my white flag because I can't play this game anymore. <laughs>